everyone! Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. As you know, as most of you should know, I was really busy working on the new IS Cupquake animation, the Surgeon Simulator one, but I am back and I'm working on my next animation for you all. But for now, here's some questions that you've sent to me through Twitter and DeviantArt. Where do you get your animation ideas for your channel? Um, I've just gotten all my ideas from society and the world around us, whether it be from noticing things, just walking around, embarrassing real life experiences. So basically, all the stories that I'm animating for you all are just from the juices of life. Do you have any animation tips or tricks? <laughs> when I was just starting, like I said in my last Q&A, my first animation experience was a huge project and at the time I had no idea how to actually animate or do anything and it was scary, it was intimidating. So I would say don't start off with a huge idea or skit because chances are it'll get overwhelming, it'll get confusing, you don't know what the heck in the world is going on. So start off with the basics, I don't know, like a bouncing ball or a walking guy just to get an understanding of the animation process and then you can go from there. Will you make animations for other YouTubers? I would love to work with other YouTubers. Working with Cupquake is so awesome, they are amazing people, and I'd love to reach out to some other YouTube channels. I've recently become obsessed with British YouTubers, so I feel like it'd be fun to work with one of them. My favorites are Dan and Phil, most of you should know them, and I feel like they would have some really great animation ideas. Maybe you guys can help me get in contact with them, like tweet them or something. I don't know. Moving on. Am I Team Torchic, Team Trico, or Team Mudkip? Pokemon Ruby was the first ever Pokemon game I ever played, and it's my favorite. And the first time I ever played through it, I picked Torchic, and ever since I was hooked, I love Torchic. Torchic is Bay. Also, Blaziken is tied with being my all-time favorite Pokemon ever. Not to say that I dislike Trico or Medkip, I still love them both, but I always go with my fiery karate chicken. What is 2 plus 2? Do I need to? If I could be any animal that matches my personality, what would it be? This is kind of a funny coincidence because in junior high, I was in a class and somehow we got on the topic of deciding what animal I would be and apparently the class thought I would be a bunny so I guess being a bunny wouldn't be that bad. You know, hopping around, eating grass, until you're savagely eaten by a coyote. But you know, besides that, that'd be pretty cool. How big of a Pokemon fan are you? You all do not understand. <laughs> I am such a big Pokemon fan. I've played almost all the main games, some side games, I have merchandise, and I actually play it competitively. Yes, there is a technical side to Pokemon that many people are not aware of. It includes complicated things like EVs, IVs, natures, stats, abilities, stuff like that. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you are not ready. <laughs> Once you are enlightened, you can never play it the same way again. You have been warned. Do you like drawing traditionally or digitally? Um, I started off drawing on paper just like anyone else would. Crayons, markers, stuff like that. So I was always used to paper when I was growing up. But when I got my first drawing pad, I started drawing digitally a lot more. And now I really like drawing digitally just because it's so much easier to fix things or undo something. Control Z is my god. <laughs> So I am much more of a digital drawer now. Do you play any other games other than Pokemon? I'm just a big Nintendo fan. All my favorite games are made by them. I love Animal Crossing, Kirby, Smash Bros, Mario. Kate and I love playing Cooking Mama together because we raged when we ruined the dish by washing all the rice down the sink or burning the beef in the stir fry because the stupid onions wouldn't cook fast enough. I basically enjoy all the cute cartoony games. What is your advice for people learning to draw? I would say, don't let anything discourage you. If you're passionate enough towards drawing, then you need to keep doing it. Practice literally makes perfect when it comes to drawing. One tip that I figured out is, you shouldn't compare your work with other people's. Everyone draws differently, they all have their own style, and comparing yourself only discourages you. Also, listen to what other people say about your work. Don't just quote unquote block out the haters, because the art world is based on criticism and how people perceive your artwork. 
So listening to other people's points of view can help you grow as an artist and get better. Well, that's all the questions I have time for. Thank you to everyone who sent one in. If you want to ask a question for the next Q&A, be sure to follow me on Twitter and DeviantArt. I love you all and goodbye!